head coach Jimmy Rollins coach you should give us your overall outlook on the season you know, it's uh, this year we're a young team again. We had five freshmen in the starting lineup last year. We're looking to have, you know, potentially six, maybe seven underclassmen in the starting lineup this year. So, uh, you know, we got some experience what we needed last year, and I'm looking forward to a good year. Guys stepping up and uh, performing where we expect them to be, um, you know, and, and kind of pushing towards that NCAA tournament. You know, being in the type of region that we are, the conference we are, it's. It's obviously a, uh, a tough endeavor taking on top quality opponents every week, um, but it's something we look forward to, something we're training for, something we're preparing for. So, Coach, you said you said five uh, freshmen last year. Yeah. How do you, how do they take that success that they had last year and continue it into this year? You know, I, I, I think if you spoke to them, they'd say it's some successes and some failures. Um, I think that part of that is is getting over the hump in a way. You know, we got. Competing at the NCAA regional tournament is is a tough endeavor. You know, you got some of the top guys in the country. Our region being, uh, you know, usually the top region in the country in most coaches' opinions. Uh, these guys got to come prepared, level-headed, clear-minded, uh, ready to compete at the highest level, not second-guessing themselves. Um, you know, I think we had a good year last year uh, from a dual meet perspective, some individual performances, uh, but just a lot of guys that were one match away from being at the NCAA tournament. I think in total we had six guys that were a match away, um, and we returned five of those six. Uh, so, you know, with one actually being a two-time NCAA qualifier for us. And right now it's trying to get over that, get over the hump, and, uh, you know, perform at a high level. That's enjoying what we're doing every day. Uh, coming to work and having a good per mind and perspective everything. Coach, for your returners, uh, maybe not in terms of wins, but who do you see stepping up and just being that vocal leader in the room? And uh, what newcomers do you see stepping in? Yeah, um, you know, vocal leaders, you know, we, we've been very fortunate with guys like Kyle Jolis and uh, Jake Borgmeyer, uh, Hunter Harrelson, um, all seniors this year. You know, we may be red shirt and some guys, you know, that's something that's still left up into in the air right now. Um, but, you know, having those type of leaders in the room, um, you know, it's a lead by example. And also vocally, um, they do a great job for us. You know, also having a kid, uh, those three are our captains. We just also named Carlos Jaquez, a uh, sophomore for the program, who had 27 wins as a freshman for us last year. Um, you know, he's been a guy that uh, leads by example. He might not be the most vocal kid, being the smallest guy, I don't know if he wants to yell at people very much, but um, you know he's he's a great leader in the room. He, he's got an incredible work ethic, the right mindset, and we're looking for a big breakout year for him this year. Coach, when people come to watch you guys uh, compete, what do you want them to see? Maybe not necessarily wins and losses, but what what do you want them to see out of your squad this year? You know, guys that are out there to put points on the board. You know, we want to be out there. And, you know, I always tell our guys, I, I don't want to see us win one nothing. If we're going to win a one-point match, I want it to be 16-15. Let's go out and let it fly. Put points on the board. Have fun doing what we're doing. This, this sport is too strenuous, too tough to go through the daily grind every day of cutting weight and weights and, and two-and-a-half-hour workouts to sit there and not want to perform. Um, you know, when we step out on the mat, we got to realize that we have a pride in what we're doing individually as a team and, and go out there to put some numbers up. You know, that's a big thing for us as a program. It's something we preach as a coaching staff. All right, Coach, thanks for your time and good luck this year. Thank you very much.